For decades, ethnic fighting between Armenia and its neighbor Azerbaijan has killed tens of thousands of soldiers and civilians and forced thousands and thousands of families to flee their homeland. Armenian filmmaker Jivan Evadisian has made more than 20 films and documentaries about the conflict in his homeland of Arksa. And this weekend, one of his feature films will premiere for the first time on public television here in the U.S. The Last Inhabitant tells the story of an Armenian father who stays behind as other Armenians are forced to flee their homeland. He's searching for his daughter, who was hospitalized after witnessing her husband's death at the hands of gangs. The man's neighbor, who is from Azerbaijan, helps find the man's daughter and bring her home. But the war and attacks by gangs eventually force them to try to flee. The film is based on a true story and shows how Armenians who live in the beautiful mountainous Arksa region have suffered tremendously for 30 plus years during the war. It is true, I, uh, I have made many films, I have lived in Artsakh, I grew up there, but I have also witnessed a series of conflicts and wars. And it is important that uh, the stories of what happened be told that I have chosen over these 30 years, and this is something that my family, I have lived, my family has lived, my father, my brother and my children and the whole nation and people are, are, are suffering through these conflicts. And that is why I have chosen to speak up and tell these stories. And what is the message you hope people who are watching this film will take away? The story that I'm trying to tell is about uh, people who want to live their free will to choose the life that they want to live. And this is a story that is not actually being told. It's not sufficiently being told and people are not listening to the to the cry for uh, for for their freedom that that the population of Artsakh is trying to express in my films. Javan, we mentioned that you've made more than 20 films and documentaries. You've made three feature films uh, to date and all of them focus on the war. What is it that you want the world to know about the war and what it's doing to the Armenian people? Through my films to say to the world what is happening, I'm trying to put in your minds and put in the, in the mind's eyes and talk to the hearts of the people about the suffering that is happening because of the conflict, because of the war. And this is a conflict that the story of the Artsakh people is a story Story. Again, it is irrelevant of the nation. It happens everywhere in the world. And, you know, let me add some context here as well. It is happening right now. Uh, it is uh, on our media every day. But there are many other wars that we forget and we don't talk about. You know, it is happening in Tigray. It is happening in Yemen. It is happening uh, in, in Cameroon. It is happening in a lot of places in the world. And we are not talking about them. So it's important to... Uh, awake the human in us so that people realize that there is an important story and so that people mobilize that together as a humanity we should be stopping these wars. You are the granddaughter of genocide survivors. You share that same passion about creating films and documentaries that focus on Armenia's history, the genocide and in more recent years the ethnic fighting and the war in Arksa. Is it hard for people outside of the Armenian community to understand the profound impact that the genocide and now the years of war have had on your country, on your people, and millions of Armenians like yourself? Not only am I a, a genocide survivor granddaughter, my grandfather actually fleed, uh, fled Artsakh in the 1920s, and he eventually re resettled in Iran. He was orphaned for 10 years and he was reunited with his family. So I definitely have the ambition to tell the same story as Jivan is. And this is why I've joined him because I feel like my grandfather who was orphaned for 10 years, um, he really didn't have a voice to talk about this conflict back in the twenties. Um, and I grew up listening on both sides of the family of the conflicts of everything that happened. So. 
it, I wear it very heavy on my sleeves and I feel that, you know, film is very powerful. It's a powerful means to tell stories, human stories. And this is why I decided to join on this journey of telling um, this particular story of Artsakh. You can watch the North American premiere of The Last Inhabitant on Saturday, April 23rd at 9 p.m. here on Mountain Lake PBS. And watch our extended interview with the filmmakers, Jivan Avedisian and Audrey Mirzayan on our website at mountainlake.org.